This could be the one thing holding you back. Let's talk about it. What's good, YouTube? Nugget Mirror coming to you today with an updated gem video. So, guys, it's been a while since we talked about gems, but I want to tell you guys honestly, now that I have all my gems pretty much where I want it to be, gems could be the very thing holding you back. So, if you clicked on this video, you might want to know what's holding me back. It might be the gems, but before we talk about gems, leave a like on the video. If you're new, go ahead and subscribe, turn on post notes, all that other good stuff. But Real quick, I want to show you guys my gem stat details, and honestly, it is not bad. So if we look right here, the first section I even want to talk about is the red section, all tier fours, each and every one of these tier fours, and they're all tier four attack percentage gems, except literally one. I have one additional attack gem. I've been super, super lucky. I literally just got two tier four attack percentage gems yesterday. So that's the main reason I'm now making a gem video because now that I have a bunch of tier fours, these all in one category are giving me up to 21% attack boost and 200 additional attack. That is almost equivalent to an entire burning curse piece. So if I look at Sunji Nu, he's got a few artifacts kind of going around, but an attack plus four piece is 29%. So this is probably equivalent to an attack plus three piece if we look about right here that's additional attack so that doesn't really count i wonder if i have so attack plus two is 17.91 so again plus three might be in between 21 to 20 4%, 25%, something like that. But the point is, now you're getting a free, free boost from there. And again, gems are super, super big. So I hope you guys are doing your gems properly. Again, gems are super RNG, right? They're kind of like blessing stones and runes. So it's really hard to get good gems but guys you need to be playing battle for the chaos every day we say this almost all the time especially since guilds came out i've been playing battle for the chaos each and every day this is the daily i haven't been missing especially because as you guys play it throughout the week you're gonna get free things like you know free tier ones right you're gonna get 15 of these which means you can fuse pretty much immediately you can fuse i think about five tier threes and then you can get a decent amount of tier twos yada 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 right and then the endless fusing doesn't end right again gems are super 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 rng right we're talking the rank twos rank threes and then rank four so i'm not gonna sit up here and say it's easy to get you know all rank fours kind of like this we've been playing or gems have been out for about months now since like the mailing fisher update so it's pretty big and you know you guys keep wanna grind you gotta keep grinding it through that's probably the main point again there's a bunch of ways you guys can get gems though if we head on over to the shop there is a good amount of places so i don't want to leave you guys a little bit out of luck i think in the lucky box i think you can get gems here you can get gems here you can get a tier four so there's a chance you can get a gem there i really wouldn't hope for it in this place i know i've gotten definitely this one i've gotten the lucky gem chest a few times from a lucky box which isn't all that lucky considering all you could get from there but if we scroll down there are some places in the exchange shop where we can get some gems so lucky gem chest you can exchange that in your celebration coin exchange you can do both coins so you can do a bunch of these i again probably wouldn't do this myself just saying but if you guys do want to do that if you are low on the gems you can do that there's none in weapon materials there are none in the mana crystal exchange in the rock paper scissors there are none as well proof is strong there are none and then in battle for the time there actually are some but again guys with battle for the time i probably wouldn't recommend this it looks like they just reset battle for the time too so with the newest season coming up you already know what battle for the time you should probably be getting your custom draw tickets exclusive weapon designs traces of shadows stuff like that but if you do want to prioritize the lucky gem chest no one's stopping you it is your own account so feel free to go about that whatever way but the best way to get that battle for the chaos play out your battle for the chaos guys and you will be in a pretty good spot as we literally are going to do some battle for the chaos right now i can't lie um let's go ahead and just do some battle for the chaos i'm gonna do this good old level real quickly with my win unit team and then i need to throw on some artifacts on sunji new because right now i'm a media mirai and him are sharing artifacts i'm trying to min max my characters right now and i'm liking the results i'm seeing you guys are gonna see my sunji new pretty much on stream recently 
recently or if I didn't stream already, the boys got like 30, 38k attack. It's pretty insane. And we're gearing up for this next update. And I hope you guys are gearing up with me too, man, because we're trying to be one of those first people to clear hard bar it. And it's going to be super, super exciting. I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys are just as excited with this upcoming update. But let's get straight into this, guys. Again, Battle of the Chaos isn't even that crazy anymore. As far as, you know, the latest power creeps, it's not you know, detrimental, right? So I'm rocking 850K as far as team power. They didn't release new floor levels. Maybe in this next update, they will release new levels, but until then, we can honestly beat this at the highest tier possible. And what I do wanna say is, the rates have drastically improved in Battle Fae of Chaos. So you're getting a bunch more gems. You're getting better RNG in here. Now, let's get straight into this. This part's not really a guide, more so yapping. I'm not gonna teach you guys how to beat this a specific rank but you can more so just watch it as we talk about gems so like i said guys for the red tier gems you definitely want that attack percentage that is going to be the best thing for you guys okay as far as the blue gems you might want to look at additional attack at hp percent or not additional attack additional hp and hp percent i know that i think healing I think it's received increase. I think that's the blue one. I know that you get a bunch of those or those give you a decent amount of power. If you're looking more so for power instead of stat boost from your gems, that is also another option. But guys, we've been talking about we well, we haven't been talking about gems. I won't lie. But the point is gems, they're, they're like they're so volatile to talk about because you can't just say hey have this gem have this gem and have this gem but we do want to note that gems are still super important so hopefully you guys are playing out your battle for the cast again it's a super important daily honestly i'd say it's probably a, a more important daily than freaking i'd say it's honestly one of the most important dailies because the return on investment from doing your gems over the entire week is honestly crazy so there, there is honestly no reason you shouldn't be doing your gem dailies each and every day because you will be in a very, very good spot by the end of the week. Now, let's see if these rewards and see if Netmarble can back me up in my smack talk. Let's see it. And boom, look at this. I get a bunch of, I even get additional attacks. So if let's say you have bad gems, let's say you have a bunch of rank twos. I just got a, an, an attack percent rank three. I just got an additional attack rank three. I even just got a healing given rank three that I can use for fusing. I just got a bunch of rank twos that I can use for fusing. I just got a bunch of rank ones even. And then now, since the weekly reset happened, I'm going to get a bunch more, which I can now go fuse, guys. So it is super, super easy. You literally can just go ahead and then boom, go fuse. Go fuse, go fuse, go fuse. All right, guys, go fuse, go fuse, go fuse. And even even with this, there might be even a new gem rank very, very soon because rank four is honestly an odd place to stop. So, hey, who knows? There might be rank five, but it looks like I have a boom, 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 rank four fuse. Let's see if we can get one mid video. Let's go ahead, do another one. If we can get one mid video, that'd be cool. Last one, last try. Let's see it. And no rank four, but that's all good, guys. Go ahead, leave your thoughts, theories, and comments about the gems. What are your gems currently looking like? Go ahead and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on post notice. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take care. Peace.